obviously the Jericho part of it for a lot of reasons stood out to me. You know, uh, one of the things that, you know, is so disconcerting to me about kind of the, the universal praise of Jericho. And I'm not going to deny the points that Max made about, you know, the impact Chris had in the early days of AEW. But when you have that kind of clout and you have that kind of power, it's very important to use that responsibly. And I just, you know, there are issues with Chris behind the scenes where I know of a lot of people who have been hurt by Chris and his actions. And, you know, it, it, it's very uncomfortable to me to see him lauded as often as he is with only the focus on that, because I do think that there's a lot of questionable um, stories about Chris that will find their way out over time. And when people are ready to tell those stories um, that will, will cast him in a very different light. I mean, look, Harvey Weinstein won a lot of Oscars. Harvey Weinstein produced a lot of very popular films. Harvey Weinstein is now in jail. I'm not saying that's going to happen to Chris, but your narrative can very quickly turn uh, if you know, you're hiding a lot of skeletons in your closet. 